We'll be taking a look at a SCAR. This one is the SCAR Light, so it's 556 by 45 or 223. This one is an SBR, so its barrel has been shortened. It's also running a Surefire Mini suppressor, as well as a couple of other attachments. So let's take a closer look at it. So the barrel's been chopped down a bit. This one's running the Surefire Mini suppressor. These are nice because they quickly come on and off. This one has the Magpul AFG on its rail, a couple of Magpul uh, rail panels, then a Depol A squared, which is a infrared and visible laser sighting device. It's also got a Surefire light mounted on the other side with its remote switch here. Right now it's set up with its charging handle on the left side for a right-handed shooter. It's got a Magpul PMAG, 30 round, standard pistol grip right now. It's got a flip up front and rear sight. So to begin with, again, it is a uh, light scar, so it's the 5.56 by 45, 223. So it has a Magpul PMAG in it. The charging handle is on the left side of the scar, at least in this configuration. And we can see that the chamber is empty. It is possible to change the charging handle over to the right side or for left-handed shooters. Some of the nice things about the scar is because of its recoil, the stock can be folded. Makes a nice little compact package. And this one with the Surefire Mini really makes a nice small overall package. It can be shot with the stock folded. There's plenty of room here to get in and get a grip on it. With the stock extended, it can then be pulled out. It also has an adjustable cheek rest. This one has a flip up rear sight as well as a flip down front sight. This one has a D-ball squared laser on the front there, as well as a Surefire light. This one also is running a Surefire mini suppressor. These are nice because they index on and mount quickly. The Surefire light has the remote switch. One's kind of set up with this Magpul angled fork grip uh, for this sort of hold. Uh, we kind of added this D ball so it's moved its remote switch back a little bit, but real easy to hold on to this one. Let's take a little closer look at it. The selector can be flipped over for ambidextrous. The charging handle can flip around. There's a mag release on both sides.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.